Scotty won't be the one paying for the hole to be filled in. And I come right outside and I say, I was like, <gasps> it's enough to strike fear in anyone. The ground collapsing beneath your home. Brittany Arias and her children live around the corner from Clay Pit Road in Sefner, where a sinkhole opened in a neighbor's yard Friday night. It was tiny. I mean, it was big, but it was not as big as it is now. Like, the fence was still standing. In less than 24 hours, the hole has grown. Initial reports estimate it was 27 feet deep and 22 feet wide, but it was still spreading on Saturday. It's uh, grown in the same direction as it was last night, so no additional homes have been affected. But that direction, unfortunately, is still headed towards a duplex. One of the apartments is not occupied. A woman living in the other one packed up what she could and evacuated her rental home. The house behind it was evacuated as well. Just in a 30-minute span, we've seen the ground crumble and fall twice into that sinkhole. That's why code enforcement says they've put up two layers of protection to keep the public Public away. We just want to make abundantly sure that nobody accidentally gets too close to it. An engineer must evaluate the sinkhole to determine if it will keep expanding and when it's safe to fill the hole. Being that it's private property, the owner of the duplex will have to pay for that assessment. At last check, no one has been hired. You don't know if it's going to happen to you. You don't know if one's going to open up in your home. Neighbors like Arias say they're keeping a close eye on the hole as it grows and their own property as a precaution. My kids play outside and they have a player in our backyard and it just makes me go out there and want to expect it to see if I see anything. Crystal Clark, Fox 13 News. And the Red Cross is assisting the residents who cannot stay in their homes tonight. We have a major